Good morning, everyone. My name is Kalpana. Uh, I'm a lawyer by training, and I'm currently a director with IDIA. That stands for Increasing Diversity by Increasing Access. We are a team of lawyers that works to make legal education accessible for the underprivileged and the marginalized students in the country. We are a completely non-profit organization. We've been in operation for seven years now. And in these seven years, we have sensitized about 25,000 students about the prospects of law as a career, out of which we have trained close to 300 students into appearing for CLAT and ILET, which are the leading law entrance examinations in India. And we have close to 90 students who have actually gained admission at the national law schools in the country, who we are training and mentoring through their five-year legal education. What I'm going to talk about today is our experience with Moodle. I'm sure all of you know that lawyers don't bode too well with either numbers or technology, but we can say with pride that we have developed our training and materials platform on Moodle completely in-house. So I'm here to dispel notions that people may have about it being difficult to navigate, about it not being an easy process because we are a team of pure lawyers with no technology background, and we've had a great experience in customizing Moodle to our needs and requirements. So to give you a brief background about what we do, uh, we are currently operational in 23 states in India through a very strong network of student volunteers. We have about 500 students who volunteer with us, reach out to the remotest parts of India to sensitize underprivileged students about law as a career option. The first barrier that we need to cross is sensitization, telling them what lawyers can do, telling them the various options that are available to them once they become lawyers. After we sensitize them, we train the meritorious ones into appearing for the law entrance examinations. Now, I'm not sure how many of you here are aware of the costs of quality legal education in India. The national law schools in India charge anywhere between 3, 3.5 lakhs per year as tuition fees. So if you want to go to these premium national law schools and graduate as a top quality lawyer in India, you're looking at spending anywhere between 15 and 18 lakhs purely on your education. Clearly, there is a very, very large section of the population in India that cannot access this education. So once we train the meritorious underprivileged students and they make it to the top law schools, we source scholarships, donations, funding, etc., for them, and we take care of their education through five years, while simultaneously, academically, and professionally mentoring them through these five years. So like I mentioned, we've had about 90 lawyers who have made it to these top law schools. About 25 of them have already graduated from these top law schools, and currently we have about 55, 60 odd who are in these law schools. Now, the very nature of our operation requires us to reach out to very remote parts of India. And these are parts of India where internet proliferation is not high. I'm talking about trainees who have never used a computer in their life before, who have never used a smartphone in their life before. And these are the students that we need to train to take these law entrance exams that are conducted entirely digitally. These are not paper exams. Majority of our trainees who sit for these law entrance exams are in fact working on a computer for the first time. Which is why it was very important for us when we were discussing the kind of LMS that we need to make sure we can train our trainees efficiently, customization was very, very important for us. For us to be able to customize everything that we want to do on this platform to create as close to a real test taking environment for these trainees and make sure that they can use it over and over to become used to the actual process and not be intimidated on the main test day. So why did we uh, go with Moodle? Uh, flexibility and customization. As Martin himself says, Moodle is actually a Lego set that all of us should use and evolve our own model. Like I mentioned before, we, none of us had any prior technical knowledge. However, we found it was very easy to navigate the platform. And there is, in fact, a very close-knit community of Moodle users. So we've sat and posted questions about, hey, we are facing XYZ problem. To give you an example, uh, we have a very extensive question bank because we need our trainees to go over practice questions repeatedly. And it's not possible for a team of court and lawyers to actually sit and check 
whether any question is plagued with errors. We are talking about 10,000 odd questions here. So we wanted our trainees to have the option to be able to flag a question if there is an error in it or if the question isn't clear. So we, we could uh, devise how to put in the option to be able to flag the question, but then we wanted a report where we could actually see only the flagged question and see what was the problem in that question. We went to the forum, we said, hey, we run this, uh, we are running tests in this particular manner. However, we don't know how to generate this report. Within hours, somebody from Spain replied, telling us the extensive code as to how we should go about generating the report. And within the next three hours, we had actually managed to generate that report and were using it to correct every error that existed on our platform. It also gives us very comprehensive data for analysis, which helps us track the progress of our trainees very, very closely. So this is what our platform looks like currently. You can use it to take mocks. We have categorized our tests into different levels so that students can start with the easy levels, then move on to the medium and the harder levels. Uh, we also have video explanations that uh, we upload on our websites for students to be able to access it. To give you an idea about the, I'm sorry about the small font size, but this is just to give you an idea of the comprehensive data that Moodle gives us to analyze every student's performance per trainee, per city, per question. In fact, we have been able to customize it to the point that us as supervisors, as well as the students, can actually check how much time they spent on each question. Because when they're sitting for competitive exams, it's key for them to be able to attempt these questions within a time-bound manner. So it tells you how much time you spent per question, so you know whether there's any particular section that you need to work on. We see how many questions they got right, they got wrong, did not attempt, and this helps us evolve personalized feedback for each student. Now, a core tenet of IDIA is accessibility. Nearly 20% of our scholars currently are visually impaired scholars. We are proud to say that all our visually impaired scholars use the Moodle platform very easily and very effectively. We have tested it with both speech-to-text and text-to-speech, and our visually impaired students have faced no challenges with using this platform whatsoever. So IDAP is our disability access program, and through this we work with students with disabilities to be able to use technology in the same manner as students without visual impairments can. So we were looking for accessible training platforms. Now, leading coaching institutes for law in India, they all have their online platforms, but none of them have been adapted for them to be accessible for the visually impaired. For example, there is a requirement under law that if a visually impaired student is taking this examination, they are required to be given 20 minutes of additional time per hour. This is something that has not been factored into all other online training sites that exist. It was very easy for us to customize our training and materials platform on Moodle by simply tweaking a few settings, and we made sure that the minute a visually impaired student takes an exam, he or she is automatically given 20 minutes extra per exam. Moodle's commitment to accessibility was something that really stood out to us. Something as simple as if you ever try to upload a picture on your training and materials platform, it will not let you upload it till you confirm that you have supplemented it with alt text, or you indicate that yes, there is no alt text required for this image. Since we stand so closely and so strongly for accessibility, and we want to make sure that experiences of students with visual impairment are not hampered simply because we are hosting something on the technological platform, that was something that really stood out for us, and we could very easily adapt the platform to make sure all our trainees, all our scholars with visual impairments could use it without any issues whatsoever. Uh, this is what some of our students say about our training and materials platform, and as you can see, that is actually a photo of one of our scholars using the training and materials platform on his phone and attempting tests practice questions in real time in very, very remote areas in India. And as I mentioned before, these are students who have never used a computer in their lives. So what one of our students says that he loves the fact that the online training platform was so student-centric. He said it felt like my teacher was with me wherever I went, which made the training process so much more easier. One of our uh, trainers, student trainers, has mentioned the level of detail 
in the analysis and review of the test that can help the student assess his or her performance and also how user friendly with it how user friendly it is uh, now what are the next steps what is it that we plan to do now uh, we want to use the offline mode more extensively again as i mentioned we are talking about really remote areas where there's probably no in, uh, water and electricity 24 hours a day forget the uninterrupted internet access so what we want to do is have a stronger offline mode where students can download these practice questions tests and attempt them at their own speed convenience whenever they want within the four walls of their house we also want to develop an extensive forum for legal education now we've seen these forums exist for uh, cat for b school trainings for iit entrance examinations but somehow it is not that robust for legal education and our plan is our for our uh, training and materials platform is actually open so it's not limited to only scholars and trainees that we train if anyone comes up to us who does not have the resources to be able to access coaching for uh, legal for leading law schools or who's interested in law but no, does not know how to go about it we are more than happy to give them access to our platform have them come on board learn from all the resources that we have developed over the years so as we scale up we are a relatively newer organization it's been a little over a year that we have developed our uh, training and materials platform on moodle as we develop we want to scale it up further and further making it more open and develop a very extensive forum for all students who are studying for law entrance examinations in the country we are also looking at using the big blue button to uh, host lectures etc in real time where we can have experts in leading cities be able to educate students in remote areas who will not have access to those kind of resources some of the things that uh, we would like moodle to incorporate and martin has already mentioned that these are things that they've been working on and in our communication with moodle as well over the years uh we've seen that they have been working on this first thing is for all the plugins to become accessible as well the only reason why we do not have interactive video lessons on our training and materials platform currently is because they are not accessible for the visually impaired students however we wrote to moodle and they told us that they are currently working on this so as soon as that comes in place we are really looking forward to hosting a range of interactive video lessons that are accessible for the visually impaired as well uh we also want to develop uh, we also want to make sure that our tests are as close as possible to the real exam like in terms of so how the actual clat has one question per page the kind of options it gives you yes you have attempted a question you have read it but not attempted it you have not read it so you need multiple kinds of options for a particular question so what we want to in the future is to make our mock test completely simulated to the actual clat and ilet exams in real time and again uh, the last one which is enhanced inbuilt features uh, coming from a team of lawyers with no tech backgrounds learning basic things like html not being able to drag and drop static pages we had to do a lot of reading so this is just us being greedy and saying that please make it slightly easier for those of us who don't have a technological background but uh, to be able to build in basic content like static pages by simply dragging and dropping content will help making it a whole lot more easier and will dispel the notion that moodle is difficult to use navigate and that non tech people should stay away from it thank you if anyone has any questions about the customization of the reports you talked about i mean was that done technically or was that done via settings in moodle itself uh, that was done technically uh, my we got uh, my sql codes which we had to run to generate those reports okay, so and unfortunately i wasn't the one who actually ran it so i may not be able to give you more details but that was not a settings feature right okay yeah because i'm come from a rural area of madurai which is means if i go to my school if i ask for, for fourth standard students, he will say that please teach me abc for the students so how since it's your poverty people you are making them to come so what is your content of languages in the moodle 
Uh, so in Moodle, currently it's only English because unfortunately the law entrance exams in India are conducted only in English. So they don't have an option to take the exam in other languages. But what we do is when we reach out to these areas, while sensitizing them, while speaking to them, we start with administering tests and basic material in their local language. So we go and administer tests to them in those languages. We also give them English language training, which supplements this because our end aim is actually for them to be able to sit for the exam in English because unfortunately they can't take it in any other language. So our online forum is all English. We bridge their English gap by giving them offline training on the ground to make sure they are prepared to access this. Thank you. Thanks.